you welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can make a simple splash screen inside of unity and to do that i've brought in a an image or a texture which it has a little logo on it but this is set to default so let's change this to sprite 2d and let's apply this so it will give us an image and then we're going to need two scenes for this tutorial so i'm going to go ahead and right click in my project panel going to create and select scene so this i'm going to name it scene 2 okay so with that done now we can go into a hierarchy and then we will let's bring this down to see our main camera and our directional light um so we're not going to be using a skybox for this tutorial so i'm going to go to my main camera and i'm going to select this change this from skybox to solid color yours might be a little bit um blue so you can left click on the um color and then select the color of your choice so i i've already set this to black if there is any other preference which you have you can set the image um um color to that so that or the background color to that that would not be a problem now let's close this the next thing we're going to do is create a c sharp script so let's right click go into create and select c sharp script and let's call this script my splash So let's double click this to open it up in Visual Studio. And here we are in Visual Studio. So with all these um, namespaces, uh, I'm going to add two more, which we're go we are going to be needing. So let's copy this using Unity Engine. Let's go down and let's paste this and add dot ui let's go below it and paste and add dot scene management all right so this is it now we're going to remove our update we're not going to be needing that and then we're going to change our void start to an i enumerator There it is, and an enumerator is just a way or a type of method which comes along with time to slow it down so you can choose to return for um, a certain amount of seconds to give the CPU time to, you know, think or something like that, just to give it a moment to rest. Now for this, um, before we start coding, let's make, let's create a variable. So this would be a public image. And this would be my splash image. Okay, so with this done, we're going to be referencing this a lot. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our canvas for this splash image. And this is going to be my splash image. Dot canvas renderer. This should be a C, so change it to C and dot set alpha. So the alpha is what shows an image or displays an image depending on the thickness. So um, if it's zero, it's not going to show at all. If it's um, a range from one upwards, it's going to show and um, the thickness will depend on the value which you set it to be. So for we now, we're going to be using zero because we don't want anything showing at first. And then what we'll do next is we're going to call a method which we are yet to create. And this method would be my light um, screen. So let's call this light screen. And 
then we're going to return at yield return wait for seconds and in this case it's going to be 2f so let's wait for that amount of time and then we're going to create another method and this would be my darken or let's call this dark screen this dark screen so this would also be a method and then we're also going to return so let's copy this line of code exactly as it is paste it down here we'll wait for another two seconds before we load a new scene so we can select scene manager dot load scene this scene is going to be my one so that will be our second scene now with this done we can go ahead and um, explain these methods down below so this would be a public void the first would be my light screen And for this slide screen, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reference my splash image. So this would be my splash image dot cross fade alpha. Now, um, for those who are um, new to this kind of method, what this does is um, it <coughs> This method, in essence, um, if you are calculating physics for, let's say, a game object, and then you want to make it move, then you have to um, give it a speed and then multiply it by time dot delta time. So this is similar in um, in a way. What you have to do is you have to give it a, a speed which it's going to be at. So right now, the first thing which we need to give it is to give it a value. And this value would be the first would be the alpha value and that would be one for us and then the second would be the duration which we want this to last so if it's a splash screen then definitely you want this to last um, at a time less than these two seconds but if that's not what you want you can make it greater and so it will do more than that so this is for the image to show and so the first value is going to be one that's um for it to be visible to players of course and then for the time we're going to set it to something like 1.5 f and finally you need to add a boolean value and this boolean value um it checks to see if it follows um time scale so that's what it does if you want it to ignore time scale you can set this to true but if you want it to follow time scale as if you are starting your game with um, time scale set to zero then definitely you should set this to true but if not leave it at false this way it's not going to ignore time scale now with that being said let's um well through with this next would be our dark our dark screen so this it's going to be dark and rather than set this crossfit alpha to one now we want to set this back to zero and then for this we can set it to something like two so it will be the same time with our seconds that means it's not going to go off until this um this a new screen or a new scene is loaded completely so let's save this now and go back into Unity. Ah. And I didn't add new for this width for seconds, so make sure you do that. 
or else it's not going to work so let's save this now and this should work perfectly so with this downloading let's right click in a hierarchy let's create a ui this would be an image right so let's reset this so it's in the middle of our screen and our canvas let's set this to scale with screen size and let's um, scale this image to somewhat fill the screen or fill the canvas and then let's drag our image onto the, um, the image container so this is what it looks like now and let's create another empty game object let's call this our splash screen and drag this script onto it and with this done finally we can go into our file go to build settings and then let's with this scene as number one let's add this scene two to it so you can see the index is one and in our script we've set this to load an index of one so this with this done everything should work normally now let's play our game oh and um, don't forget to add the image so drag this image to where it's supposed to be um sorry this image drag it to where it's supposed to be which is here and let's play our game now so you can see our splash screen is loading just fine and it's going into a new scene to make this much much clear uh, this is really big okay so we can go ahead and scale this down so that it fits my screen size hopefully so let's go into the image and let's make this probably half i should say so let's make it sound like 400 by um this should be 277 yeah so right about there this should do yeah, so this is okay. Let's go ahead and play this now. You can see it feels uh, all looks much better. Looks more like a splash screen. And it takes us into our scene too. So this is all I have for you today. If you enjoyed my video, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And I hope I see you in my next video.